Distillation Imagine the cliché scenario in which you wake up stranded on a desert island. How did you get there? You didn't volunteer as tribute. Who knows? But it probably has something to do with your cheesy science teacher putting you in a weird hypothetical situation. Maybe just go with it. You realise that you have a backpack with you that contains a sheet of plastic, a bowl, some rocks, a small shovel, and a sandwich that magically meets any dietary requirements and preferences that you may have. Good cheesy science teacher. So, you know you're not in danger of becoming hangry, at least too soon. But you probably are going to need something to drink. Of course, you're surrounded by salt water, and you can't drink that. But maybe you could use some of the materials in the backpack to help you purify some. Let's start with the shovel. You know that if you dig a hole down into the sand, you'll find water. But it'll still be salt water. You're on the right track, though. What could you do with the other materials to help you attain water without all the salt and impurities in it? Use this time to think and devise a plan. Or just pause the video if you need a little bit more time. So what you could do is place the empty bowl into the hole and cover it with the sheet of plastic, weighing down the edges with rocks or some sand, and place a small rock on the plastic over where the bowl is so it dips down slightly. As things heat up in the sun, the liquid water will evaporate to become a gas, or water vapour, leaving the salt and any dirt behind. Being covered, the water vapour can't escape and will build up near the top of the hole where the plastic is. This gas will then condense to form droplets of pure water as condensation. And because you've gently weighed down the plastic over the bowl, it should gather at this point and eventually drip down into the bowl. By applying our knowledge of evaporation and condensation, we've just performed something called distillation to obtain pure water that is safe to drink. Distilla? Distillation which is a separation technique where you can purify a certain substance using heating and cooling, or evaporation, then condensation. It can also be used to concentrate a substance. In a laboratory, it can look something like this. You have a heat source like a Bunsen burner, which allows the substance you want to purify to evaporate as it heats up, leaving behind any impurities. In its gaseous form, it is able to enter the condenser, which is effectively a tube surrounded by cold water. The cold water doesn't mix with the substance you're purifying, but it does lower the temperature of the gas, causing it to condense back into its liquid form, which can then be collected. So really, distillation uses evaporation and condensation to perform separation. Try saying that ten times fast. Not only can this separation technique be used in laboratories, but also for industrial applications, like fuel extraction or alcohol. Or, of course, purifying drinking water to survive on a desert island. Until next time, stay awesome! Please remember to support this channel by subscribing, and leave this video a like if you liked it. Please comment below if this video was helpful for you, any constructive criticism, ideas or requests for future videos, and share any awesome lesson ideas with our fellow educators.